Hey guys, so I recently ordered this spot welder on Amazon and it just came in the mail today. So I wanted to do a quick video on this just to unbox it and everything. Now I purchased this to uh, to rebuild lithium ion batteries for my ThinkPad laptop. Now, um, if you, you may or may not have seen that previous video that I made, you might wanna go check that out. But I took apart the lithium ion battery for my ThinkPad and I'm going to rebuild it. So or I'm gonna to attempt to anyway. So doing that requires um, spot welding some metal strips to the batteries to rebuild the battery bank. And I've never done that before, but um, I'm gonna give it a shot and see if it works. So um, this is actually marketed. So I'm gonna open this up. I'm doing this with, with one hand and holding the camera with the other. So it's gonna be a little bit tricky, but um, yeah, this is marketed as being um, good for building battery banks. So, um, Yes, this is, I'm not really familiar with the brand, but it was rated pretty well. It only had, I think, a few hundred ratings on Amazon, and but it but it was rated well. But uh any case, um, also check the link in the description for where you can pick up this uh, same spot welder. I'm going to put a link to where you can pick this up on Amazon. Um, also, before I forget, I wanted to show the batteries that I picked up. So these are for the battery bank, and um, yeah, so this is... All I'll need. So I'm gonna need um, six batteries. They're basically gonna go like that, be spot welded together like this. These are the new batteries for my battery bank. Um, I also picked up some other batteries that I'm gonna test out with some of the robots that I've been building. So these are allocated for robot use and these are for laptop battery bank use. So to rebuild my laptop battery. Yeah, so it's probably going to be pretty decent. Um, it, this this one is unique because it's uh, it's basically like a pen style. It's it's it, it doesn't come if you see those two ends here. The normally these are separate and you have to hold them separately. This one's pretty easy. They're spaced apart exactly how far that you would want them to be. And this is supposed to be really convenient. You can charge this up and it holds a charge for a good while. I think <clears throat> I think it said two or two and a half hours. So um, you can charge this up and just use it without it being plugged in, supposedly. So let's give it a, let's take a quick look here and see what comes in the box. So let's see. So this is the spot welder itself. So you can, you can see some, I imagine these are lights here, you know, for the power and, and stuff. I, I've not read the manual yet. You can charge it with this. Here's an on off button. Um, and I imagine this is to actually weld. And this is what it looks like. So let's see what it came with, what, what's in these boxes here. So I'm going to try to do this video in one take. Now, fortunately, this actually came with some strips here. I uh, don't know off the top of my head what uh, type of metal this is. I'm guessing probably nickel. And um, yeah, so... Fortunately, it, it kind of nice that it came with this. I did not realize that it did because I didn't read carefully, I guess. But I actually already purchased some strips off of Amazon separately. So these came in the mail earlier today. So turns out I don't need these. So it came with a lesser amount. Unless I start building more battery banks, which there's a good chance maybe I will end up doing that. So um, yeah, let's see what's in here. And yeah, there we go. There's uh, the charging cable. So regular USB cable, USB-C to USB-A. And uh, that's all that's in here. Nope, looks like sandpaper. And what else? The instruction manual. So I'm actually gonna have to look at that because um, yeah, I don't know anything about spot welding and this is gonna be a learning process. So this will be interesting. I'm gonna to attempt to, yes, yeah, so stay tuned for that next video where I attempt to actually, um, not gonna be the next video after this one, but I'm thinking probably this is gonna be more like next week, but I'm gonna to attempt to rebuild that battery and see if it actually works and if I can power up my ThinkPad or if I end up destroying the ThinkPad. Probably gonna end up powering it on, but um, I think it's gonna work, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, one way or another, this will be interesting. So anyways, um, you know, stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of great content coming out. Do a lot of stuff with like Raspberry Pis, robots, hardware, software, coding, Linux, lots of interesting stuff you're not going to want to miss out on. Do 3D printing, networking, lots of good stuff. So if you want your YouTube feed to uh, 
you know, be more interesting, definitely hit that subscribe button. Um, hit the bell icon. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below if you know something I don't know. And um, that's about it for today. So, um, as always, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys on that next video.